Hey guys, Mike from Pattern Traders. I want to make a quick video talking about why I think that we're not going to have a bull run. I don't care if I piss people off. It's just my perspective. I could be wrong. I could be right. I don't know, but I'm playing it as if I'm right. <clears throat> I'm going to talk to you guys quickly about why I think so. Let me highlight my levels first before I talk about patterns because this is strictly a pattern question. <clears throat> pattern answer, sorry. All right, so we're, we could all agree based on price action that we are very bullish. We broke, we broke and closed above a year's worth of resistance. <clears throat> Monthly is a clean flip. Uh, you could tell this is a very very clean flip, and we took out, we took the, the low out. So ideally, what, what we should be targeting right now is the liquidity in this area over here. Within this area. <clears throat> We have a lot of <clears throat> liquidity that ranges between 14,000, sorry, 13,800 and like 16,000 and change. Personally speaking, if we get anywhere near 16,000, we're not stopping. We're going straight to all time highs, right? <clears throat> being, <clears throat> being realistic. Sorry, my throat is killing me. No, I don't have COVID. Okay, so what I'm looking at, <clears throat> what I'm looking for um, based off the monthly level. Well, first off, let me tell you this, man. You see these wicks over here? More likely than not, they fill. You know, one day or another, one day or another, they fill. Uh, you know, it's a pretty big wick to not fill. Even if, usually, what I do is um, back testing it. I take the fib of the candle, <clears throat> and I do this. And I tell myself at least. Why is the one off? Half of this will get filled. Where's half? Uh, Nine thousand, whatever. Say five thousand, right? That's what I. That's what I. That's how I've been trading my whole life. When I see enormous wicks, voids, insufficiencies, stuff like that, at least half will get filled. That's what I've been. You know, that's how. That's what I've been taught. Regardless of that, so we have our monthly level, right? We know that for a fact. This is insane resistance, and we have significant liquidity above the 2019 high, which is over here. So what's the logical thing to assume? We break above this, we're going to all-time high. Absolutely. We break above this and consolidate and get acceptance over here, we're going to definitely go to all-time high, and we're going to go straight for that, right? <clears throat> so the most obvious levels of liquidity... Given that that's your monthly level. What I'm interested in <clears throat> that Well let's just put it here. I know it's you know what let me get rid of the monthly level. Forget that. That's what I'm interested in. I'm interested in exactly this right here. This whole range. I want to short the living shit out of it. <clears throat> See how we have a flat top here too? Up here. You know? Doesn't matter. But I'm interested in this whole range. 13,800 until 14,005. Extend right, extend left. That's, that's what I'm interested in. Right? Ideally, based on patterns, we shouldn't see the daylight above this right here. So I'm going to get rid of the top. Let's do this. <clears throat> this is based on patterns, not price action. Price action, yes, you could see a scam like up here, <clears throat> right? So I'm playing this range as if we, if we do happen to tap it, I'm shorting it heavy. Damn, we're dumping right now. It sucks. <clears throat> All right, and it fits my thesis that this is first drive. This is the second drive. We're making our third drive now. <clears throat> Take the liquidity, SFP, and dive. Assuming, right? Assuming that happens. Otherwise, we're very bullish because we broke above every single possible resistance that we had in 2019, right? Except for this beautiful high over here, right? <clears throat> let's talk about patterns. So let's get rid of all this and just talk about patterns. We have one area of interest, which is going to be that which already tapped. Second area of interest, which is that. 
All right, so now locally, we're working with this specific zone over here. Where are we with oscillators? Where are we with oscillators? Okay. <clears throat> we bottomed out in 2019 over here, right? You can tell, right? Based on the stoke, it's the bottoming pattern, right? Over, under, 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 crossover, I'll go fire, black, and we went up. That's a bottoming pattern. All right, we also we also bottomed out in 2014-15. Similar method. Under, 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 over. Stoke is black. We had an over, under over here. This was your bottom, and then you went up, but didn't see the daylight after that, right? RSX crossed. RSX had, RSX had a bull div, right? And furthermore, okay, now that makes sense. So now look at it from this perspective, right? We went. We had a parabolic move. St stoke was under us the whole time. The blue stoke. Blue stoke is a newly added line that offers high time frame support, which tells you your low time frame might be ready to flip bare, but my high time frame, which is going to be the weekly, monthly, two week, whatever the case is, is still bullish. So careful, right? Dips are still for buying. We finally broke. <clears throat> <clears throat> the blue the blue stock which is the high stock over here we found support on the gray those of you who know me always know that the same pattern plays out the minute you're writing parabolic moves up your first box is going to be the gray first box is the gray right here right delete everything right gray is your first bounce gray is your first bounce this should have been like a i don't know 40 percent dump let's see we had our we had our cross <clears throat> cross here dump down yeah and you can even tell with the rsx right we have our first top our second top and then our third retest pop which got rejected and went down right look at this one top two top and this is our third top what's gonna happen we're gonna get a 40 percent dump all right uh, we'll say we don't get a 40 percent dump say we get a 30 percent dump say we go over to fifteen thousand. still we're gonna go down to nine thousands right <clears throat> anyway so why am I bearish? I'm not. I'm freaking bullish. I am. I really am. But I'm not stupid to tell you guys to long resistance. So the theory behind my perspective is I count tops and I count patterns. If this right here is our bottom, which is very evident, this is our bottom. <clears throat> this is a bridge. Right? Remember what I told you guys? A bridge connects two, two tops. This is your left top, which is your left shoulder. You have your bridge. This is your head, which is formed. Then this is your right top. So now this whole thing is one pattern. Bottom, left shoulder, bridge, which connects the two tops together. Your head, you always have a head. You always have a head, right? Left shoulder, head, and then you're gonna have your right shoulder. Your right shoulder could have up to max three tops. You're not going to get a four top right shoulder unless you're in a bull market, in a bull run like this. But <clears throat> when you're in a bull market, <clears throat> the tops are not visible, right? You can't see them, they're not visible. You can really see that this is a visible three top pattern, right? Left shoulder, head, right shoulder, and this dies. All within one main pattern, which has your bottom, your left shoulder, your head, and then your right shoulder. The right shoulder has three tops in it, which is normal. A lot of, it happens way often. Look, look at this right here. <clears throat> left shoulder, head, right shoulder. One, two, three. The third one is your div. Where's the div? No, it's not your third. The third one wasn't your div. Oh, shit. Usually your third one is a div. I take that back. But usually your third one is a div, like what's going to happen right now. That's what usually happens. That's pretty odd that we died without even a div. That means that we had to have this on a higher time frame. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, you can see right here. One, two, three. This one, its own. This is its own top. 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 But wait, hold on. I'm very curious why we died there without a div. There had to, there had to have been a div somewhere. Hold on a second. Five, they didn't have it. 
<clears throat> Four day didn't have it. Why do we die here without a div? That's crazy. Three day maybe? Very interesting. I just learned something new. I've never seen a, a high time frame dump without a div like that. Good to know. So back to my analysis. <clears throat> Weekly. So what usually happens, you get your first top, second top, and your third top is your div, and then you die. All within one shoulder, right? Which works perfectly with a first drive, second drive, third drive. So that's your div. And then you die. Talk about the stoke. We're completely under the signal line. We already had our first bounce on the weekly. Once we start curling, just second top. Look at the lower time frame. Five days already exhausted. Four days already exhausted. Three days already exhausted. Two days already exhausted, but we're not under it, unfortunately, right? Two days still needs to curl, bounce, and then this has to come over, right? The daily hasn't even curled yet. It hasn't even, sorry, hasn't even crossed yet. So I want you to see this. This is the main behavior that you want to see. You want to cross down, <clears throat> retest, get up support, short the retest, die. That's going to be your main top, and then you die, right? So once the RSX cross, we went off for another div, a bull div, and the main top came from here. Um, that being said, bottom, I'm still long from 99. I think it was, yeah, I caught the long over here. I caught the long over here based on the, based on the cross. The 12 hour gave it to me, actually. It wasn't a daily. Yeah, the 12 hours. See how we bottomed down on the stoke? <clears throat> That's the only reason why I entered. And you, so, I mean, you can see it from here, dude. Look how beautiful and clean this is. We have a topping pattern over here. We crossed under. Bounced off the grey, like I told you. We always bounce off the grey. Retest number one. Bounce again. Retest number two. Three top, right? One, two, three. And then we die. One, two, three. And then we die, right? And the top is here, and the third top, retest, and then we died. We went down, I don't know, 20%, 15%, I don't know what that is, but it's definitely a big dump. 20%, 19%. So this same pattern, I want you to, to envision it playing on this side, over here. <clears throat> so we had our first cross. We went down, we bounced. First rejection is over here. Right now, we already have an over under, we already have a cross, so, so we got a decent dump. I don't know, five percent. Ideally, what I want to see is a bounce, a third will be my third top, which will also make my daily do the retest, and that's it. It should dump after that, it should significantly dump after that. At that point, you're two week should have reached max that. You should not surpass that. You surpass that. We are bullish. You should not surpass the previous peak, man. You shouldn't. Price is supposed to go higher. Oscillator is supposed to go lower. You're supposed to get your div. Then you're supposed to die. <clears throat> right? And you can also do a div from over here. Down here. Right? Here. Let me show it this way. Like this. Right? And then... Assuming we take this, we take liquidity from here, right? Assuming we take liquidity. I know people don't use wigs, they use price, they use candles. I use everything. Uh, I, I use, I use wig. I know RSI doesn't count volume and it shouldn't be, uh, RSI doesn't count wigs, it's candle close, sorry. Can, it's candle close, doesn't count wigs. I use everything, but anyway, it doesn't matter. That's what should happen, right? So, um... We still have a long way to go, man. And what's even more scary and more bullish is that the monthly, if the monthly crosses above mid, we're officially in bullish territory, right? Every time the monthly crosses under mid, we're in bear territory. You cross above mid, we're in bullish territory. Only good thing is that we're already exhausted. So usually we should re re reject and go down, hold on, phone call. Sorry about that, guys. So, <clears throat> breaking above the monthly um, 
mid zone is extremely it's extremely bullish um, and especially because we had a retest of the level of the consolidation level let me show you guys again <clears throat> based on price action this is very bullish man right we had a consolidation level over here that took place for a couple of months like three months April to August broke above it we retested it and what makes it even more bullish is that we swept out low man so you can't really be bearish on, on this price action dude price action were crazy bullish look you swept the low of the retest of the previous consolidation which broke the high that's bullish man there's nothing bearish about this at all at all right so based on price action i'm agreeing with everybody we're very bullish but based on patterns this pattern comes to an end unfortunately so we got our bounce off the mid going up for our third top which should be lower than the, than the actual head one drive two drive three drive bear div and then this is going to die and reset now where's this going to go i don't know no idea but we're going to get a, a, a heavy sell off and everyone's gonna be like oh yeah we got we sold off because of elections or we sold off because of COVID wave two or we sold off because of xyz no man we sold off because the pattern said we're gonna sell off and it's been showing this to us for the past maybe uh since we got the cross here october 12th so a good two weeks man it's been very evident you know very evident that this is gonna end up croaking out anyway that being said look at your five day same thing exhaustion exhaustion bear div once this crosses it's game over look at your four day um under the signal line exhaustion exhaustion signal line hopefully it curls here uh, dude it's the same pattern playing out man uh, I'm, not, I'm not you know like the, the the two day hasn't really curled yet which is worrisome this th this thing still has to go like this and then up and then down uh, we didn't do it here like a lot of you, we didn't do it here. We went straight up and then we died. But the reason why we didn't do it there is because our higher time, oh sorry, our lower time frame had it, right? So let's let's highlight that so you can see the difference between time frames. The daily had the over under. This was the stamp, and the two day had it there. But look at us right now, where we are on the two day, right? But look at the daily right now, where it is. We haven't even done it. We have this this pattern needs to play out where this has to come down bounce go up right so we got a lot of time man we got a lot of time that's what i'm saying the dips are for buying i'm not a bearish guy i just know how to read patterns and i know that we're going to have one more top before massive sell-off we have a cross that's about to take place which is your left shoulder your head cross bounce right shoulder boom dead um 12 hours already doing the over-unders Look at the 12 hour. That's what you need to see, right? So we had our cross down, bounce up, reject, your short, bounce. This second retest is going to give you your daily's first retest. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Bottom line is this, man. Based on patterns, a drop is, is on its way. No bull run. I think the bull run is going to happen in 2023 plus, meaning after 2023, not 2023, after 2023. I think 2023, we're going to have a massive bear market that's going to lead to a bottom before the bull run. Uh, we will have many bull runs within the next couple of years, but nothing to talk about, nothing to be excited about. Um, I don't think that we're going to break the all-time highs anytime soon. Unfortunately, sad, sad it's me to say that. So the only, the only thing that I want, I'm not going to lie to you, is I want a massive range to take place so I could just scalp it for the next year to accumulate as much Bitcoin as I can because we will have a bull run. Whether you like it, I like it, anyone else likes it, we will have a bull run. We, we will, we're definitely going to have one. It's just, I don't think it's going to happen now, man. I don't. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I just don't think I'm going to have it now. And I'm playing it as if we don't. So... We had a nice little cup. We broke up. Adam, Eve, bottom. And the neckline, oops. Sorry about that. The neckline is 
right there. Right? It's pretty evident, no? Boom, V, boom. So now we start consolidating above this and get acceptance above this. <laughs> We're gonna fly, bro. We are going to fly. There's nothing bearish about the price action. I said that to you guys many times. There's nothing bearish about the price action. This price action is crazy bullish. We get acceptance above 2019 high, which is this over here. We are going to fly. We're not stopping here. I'm telling you right now, we're not. If we get acceptance above this, we're not. My idea is that we're not gonna get acceptance above this and we're going to just jump up, SFP and then drop, which fits perfect with a three drive schematic. One, two, three, and then you drop, then take your Fibonacci level. You can do the bottom uh, and then target the 0.5, target the 0.32 whatever you think, whatever you want to target, or you could just take it from the structure itself, wherever we top out, you can target the 0.5 over there, which is gonna be, not the 0.5, sorry, the OTE, which is gonna probably be like 10,600. Let's get rid of this right here, real quick. Where is it? Taking it from this structure, right? Cause this was the, this was the low that led to whatever high we get. I'm assuming we top out at, four, say 14,500, right? Assuming we top out there. Yeah, target this then after that. Target the golden zone. Yeah, right now, and call it a day. You know, so go up, take out the 2019 high, distribute, deviate, retest the high, and then dump. And then from here, see what we do. We consolidate, or we just distribute some more, and then we go down. Depends. I don't know what's going to happen afterwards. So that's pretty much why I think we're not going to have a bull run. This pattern always ends up dying. Um, and I hope I'm right because I want to accumulate additional Bitcoin and get cheaper Bitcoin. But we'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens. The two week is very evident as to how this pattern is looking, right? You could tell that this is a tiny little head and then it's going to have its second top, first top, second top, and then it just croaks. The weekly, very evident, it's a three top pattern. One top, two top, three top, what's gonna happen after, you die. I mean, come on, dude, you know, it's very evident. It's not, a, it's, not a, it's, not a, it's not brain science, right? The weekly is under the stoke too. So let's see, could we reject and go lower? Or are we gonna just start bull running and just staying up here on top of the gray, like we did over here, right? Staying on top of the gray the whole time, man. Crazy bull run. But we'll see what happens, man. Now you know why I think I'm bearish. Now you know why, not that I'm bearish. Now you know why I think that we're going to go for another dive, right? Ideally, what I really would love is to buy some Bitcoins over here or to buy some Bitcoins over there. Anything in this zone is a blessing, right? You had your first deviation over here. Obviously, it didn't make a new high. From this but drop down then you had a second deviation over here and we never retested this man so a beautiful dump over here will be amazing if we can get it right back into the old range and call it a day hold on phone call sorry about that so yeah that's what i'm waiting for that's what i'm expecting if i'm wrong i'm wrong i'll just buy it when we consolidate and break above this high any acceptance above that high i'm going in i'm not going to stop i see no reason why we're going to stop at sixteen thousand. If we consolidate and range above it, you know, if we start accumulate, if we start consolidating above this high, we're gonna fly. Um, otherwise, hope this video helped clear up why I think we're gonna go for a dive. I am not bearish. I just think that we're in for a decent correction because this pattern doesn't end too well. And where you would buy again is just wait for this type of pattern to, to take place at least on your three day. You want to see this in your three day, um, like this, right? Right here, beautiful. Or even an algo fire on your three day will be beautiful. We haven't had one in a while, right? We keep we keep hitting the top, right? Top, 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 top. We haven't had an algo fire since March. So wait until we get one, and then just go in, go all in. That should be the, there should be a, a final bottom for quite some time. One second, phone call. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. So yeah, that's what I'm expecting. 
if we get one more three day bottom like this even if it's a quick one um i'm gonna buy a shitload of spot I think Bitcoin is extremely expensive now. I don't care that retail is coming in. I don't care that we're getting banks and all these other companies to invest money in. I don't, it doesn't, it doesn't, I play the charts. I don't care about fundamentals. So, um, previous consolidation over here, which led to, in my, in my perspective, distribution to dump over here. We accumulate and then we'll just break up. So any kind of test back into this range, I'm buying as a scalp, <clears throat> right? Scalp. So I'm buying that blind long. Obviously I want to see confluence with my indicators, but the minute you get a 12 hour bottom like this, where the stock turns black, you, 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 you can't question it. The minute you turn your black stock, stock turns black, don't question it. Get confluence with your Fibonacci's or with your supports and resistances and punch your longs. Um, same thing as punch your shorts when you have a topping pattern like this. The red dots, and the 12 hours seem to work very well. It's a new, it's a new indicator. Oh, sorry, it's a new feature that the, that the that our indicator has, so that when we actually get red dots, it's calling for extreme measures, um, especially on the 12 hour. Yeah, it probably it probably it probably won't work as well in the lower time frame, but it has called so far every single top freaking pattern that we had, dude. You know. Um, yeah but again just look for a bottoming pattern like this you get a bottoming pattern like this black stoke black stoke black stoke oops no it's not gonna do that but you know what i mean right so one two three one two three get one more top over here wherever it comes and then short it and then re-long when you get your algo rsx or algo stoke black stoke with with a green cross and RSX and the 12 hours is beautiful, right? And then these are the two levels that I'm interested in. I'm not interested in long in anything else. Yeah, I play the scalp game. Like for example, right now I'm scalp long in, in ETH. I bought the ETH dip. Um, it was just too beautiful to not buy it, I tell you right now. The only thing that you needed to do is touch a four hour. It looked like shit though when I was in it. That's why I de-risked myself and I only kept half, right? It still looks like shit, should be told. It just looks disgusting, right? Um, the minute you break under this, you're going down. You're not going to stop. If you have to start contesting this whole range over here, you shouldn't be even. You should tap it, bounce. You should not be revisiting this area and consolidating here this doesn't make any sense the reason why this was a consolidation area was because we accumulated here and we broke out of it there shouldn't be a, there should be no reason for us to revisit this area and just stay here that's going to be distribution and then this is going to end up becoming a massive dis, uh deviation yeah that's no, a little overboard i'm sorry guys i'm called mr picasso for a reason so this is going to end up becoming a massive deviation above and then good luck at that point, right? But look at the oscillators. Let's go to 12 hours. Yeah, bearish. Stoke is black. Every time the stoke turns black. Yeah, see? Black. Black. Hmm. Weekly. Weekly still looks good, though. We have so much room. One more thing I want to explain to you guys. Whenever you see a big gap like this between the, the actual stoke itself, which is gray, and then the two signal lines... More likely than not, you don't dump, you pump, right? You pump, you pump into it and then you reject and then you die. More likely than not, it doesn't always happen, but more likely than not, you pump, right? Um, two day, yeah, two day got exhaustion and rejected. Um, yeah. So... Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I, I'm not bearish on ETH, man. I know everyone's. I'm not. I'm not bearish on ETH. I'm not. I just can't be. There's so much room. Like I, the, the pattern has so much room to go. If BTC allows it to run, this thing is gonna run, bro. Look at the three day. It's nowhere near. It has to come at least to this to this level to contest. There's so much room. It's, as long as BTC lets this thing run, it's gonna run. The weekly just crossed. You know. 
Um. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm not bearish on ETH. I know everyone's bearish on ETH. I'm not. I'm not. I just can't be. Can't be. Everything looks beautiful. Um, Oscillator-wise. Well, that's pretty much my perspective of where I think Bitcoin is going. Um, ideally, what I'm looking at is end of November, early December to be at a good spot for a buying opportunity for, for BTC. And then a slow grind up from there. And then uh, we shouldn't see a bear, a, a bull run until sometime after 2023. Ideally, what I think and John thinks, 25, 26, 2025, 2026. But we're going to have many bull runs in between. Like the run up to 23 is going to be a nice massive run that we should contest 16,000 to 20,000. We could even go to 28,000 and 24, but first, let's just take a level by level. Our first areas of interest right now is to see what happens when we contest our 2019 high, and then uh, take it from there. Once we get above the 2019 high, we'll talk about uh, being bullish or bearish. We consolidate above that level, I'll flip bull for sure, dude. Like, there's no argument to be bear, but this pattern has to play out. See what happens, guys. Cheers.